In our For the People election coverage, tonight we're looking at a race for the Meade School Board between incumbent Carmen Green and Brianne Gray. Just six days from Election Day and the rhetoric is heating up. And like most districts with school board elections right now, conversations about critical race theory, masks and vaccines dominate the discourse. The challenge as you cast your vote, separating fact from fiction. Rania Kaur sat with both candidates today. She's live in Mead with why each woman thinks she deserves your vote. Mead was one of the first places to reopen their district to in-person learning. Recently, they fired four employees for not following the vaccine mandate. In a district that's growing and changing, both of these candidates had a lot to say about what the future of the district should look like. When it comes to the future of our children's education, the race for school board seats is important. Brianne Gray says that's her motivation for entering this race. And there are no members on our school board who have children in school right now. And we are facing some unprecedented challenges and discussions in education. And I think that we need a parent on the board who can represent that voice. She's trying to unseat incumbent Carmen Green. There are some programs starting I'm really excited about. I want to be a part of that getting launched. They're kind of little passion projects of mine that I kept kind of pushing us forward on. And so I'm really excited to have those things happen. With COVID taking the forefront these past two years, we asked their feelings about state mandates on masks and vaccines. And I don't support mandates coming coming from the governor. The, the public schools are meant to be ran locally and getting these mandates, you know, to follow is, is just an overreach. So I, I don't support the, the mandates in general. Things that are related to health, and I know people want us to push back on that and to be able to control what's going on in our school district. I don't, I would never say that I have the expertise to make that decision. They disagree on the topic of critical race theory. Gray's website and campaign flyer says she's ready to stand up and prevent it from being taught. It's not now in Mead or any other local district. But Gray says she's seeing examples of it and that she's ready to push back. I think we can see that its principles are starting to seep their way into the schools right now. And I think that it's important we have somebody on the board who is willing to stand up and look through this and, and push back against it. I don't, I don't support it being taught in the schools either. Green says the conversations about race do have a place in our schools. And real conversations um, where we talk about how people feel like they're treated or, or they are treated and we just aren't, you know, as maybe white people, we're not paying attention to that. I think those are important conversations for us to have. Both of them are options on for position number five on November 2nd's ballot. We'll have more information on this race as well as other races on our website at kxly.com. Live in me tonight, I'm Ronnie Core for News Now.